the Lenovo 510S is the sort of device that could easily slip past somewhat undetected. It's not a flashy thin and light ultrabook, a super fast gaming machine or the sort of cheapest chips thing you'll find filling the shelves of PC world. But the fact of the matter is that the 510S is a great laptop that hits a perfect balance of portability, looks, capability and price. It all starts with a nice design. A fetching pearlescent white outside is joined by a slab of aluminium on the inside and a matching silver surround for the screen. It's not ultrabook snazzy, but it's vastly superior to many a laptop at this price. What's more, it's reasonably slim and light too. Aside from its rubber feet that add another couple of millimetres, it's just 20 millimetres thick and weighs in at 1.7 kilos. Being a 14 inch machine, it does have a bigger footprint than the smallest of laptops, but this is still comfortably the sort of machine you could take with you just about anywhere. What's more, because it's that bit thicker, you get more connectivity. You get two USB 3 ports, a full-size HDMI and an Ethernet port down the right side, plus an SD card reader, a headphone and microphone combi jack and a third USB port. Although this one's only USB 2, but does have fast charging. Also, like the Lenovo 710S, the 510S has a nice compact power supply integrated into the plug, so there's no power brick mid-cable. Under the hood you get a choice of Intel Core i processors, from the 6100U used here to the very powerful 6567U. This is accompanied by 8GB of RAM and either 128GB or 256GB SSD. Lenovo also mentions a hard drive option and one with AMD graphics, but these don't appear to be available at the moment. You of course also get AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4, and what's more the bottom is easily removable for a simple upgrade to the 2.5 inch SSD and the single stick of RAM. Obviously performance will vary depending which configuration you go for, but even this £449 version has all the speed you'll need for day to day stuff. Only power users or those that might want to dabble in some gaming need get the more powerful versions. As for the keyboard, it's great. It's spacious and has a perfect layout with no keys in odd places, plus the key switch action is great providing plenty of feedback so you know when you've hit a key. Add in that it's fully backlit with two brightness settings and you can't ask for too much more. Sadly the trackpad isn't quite as good. Just as with the 710S it tracks well and has a nice click, but the metal surface just isn't as smooth gliding as I'd like. It's back to the good stuff when it comes to the screen though. The IPS panel means viewing angles are excellent, plus it produces nice punchy looking colours and has a great contrast ratio of 1200 to 1. Maximum brightness could be a touch higher for those moments where you find yourself having to work in bright sunshine, but in use it feels brighter than its benchmarks would suggest, and the matte finish helps make it more usable thanks to it reducing distracting reflections. The only real stumbling block is its colour space coverage, which is not good enough for those who will be editing pictures and video in any sort of professional capacity. The same could be said of the speakers, but overall they're pretty good, at least for a small laptop. They get reasonably loud and have a bit more mid-range heft than the cheapest of laptops. Even more impressive is this laptop's battery life. It lasted over 10 hours in my PowerMark test, which is right up there with the best you can get for a Core i laptop. Only much slower Core M laptops get much more. All of which just leaves the issue of software as a final potential stumbling block. Now I covered most of the controversy of Lenovo's recent laptops in my 710S review, so I won't repeat that here, except to say there is quite a lot of rubbish pre-installed on this laptop. But it can be uninstalled and I don't feel there's anything here that should put you off. As a result, I think this is a truly excellent laptop. The £449 version has all the power the vast majority of users should need, and has a better screen, keyboard, trackpad, speakers, battery life and build than you'd ever expect at this price. Meanwhile, for those wanting a little more power and a larger SSD, the £599 or £649 versions both offer good value too.